All right, morning, everybody. To uh, Cutie Marks, Special Talents, and you. Essentially, Blank Blanks Anonymous. I'm a quick study here to essentially talk to you about what exactly is a Cutie Mark, how to or uh, what exactly is a special talent, and how you can find your own. So we'll start things off with what is a Cutie Mark? Cutie Mark is essentially a magical mark that appears on the flank of a pony. Essentially, when they find their special talent. Now, each of uh, each Cutie Mark is unique to the pony. Now, you might say to yourself, you've seen, well, I've seen quite a few ponies that have exactly the same mark, kitty marks, but there is a couple of section, exceptions to the rule. One, clones do not count. Essentially, all it is is either just a fleet of the, uh, fleet of the eye, yeah, you happen to see two of the same ponies there, but those do not count. Number two, time lords and ladies do not count either. They technically are not ponies. So, well, of course, they will have the same cutie mark because, well, that's what they are. They are the lords and ladies of time. <laughs> and thirdly, while those, might be, while those two cutie marks might be similar, they are technically two different colors, so they are different. Though I'm under the assumption that really this, that uh, Phil Six here is just off Octavia when she just wants to get, uh, get a little of uh, country in her. <laughs> All right, now then. <laughs> Cutie Mark is essentially a visual representation of a pony's uh, special talent. This representation could be a very direct representation of the special talent or a very indirect representation. So let's do examples here. Of course, Lyra. Well, it's just a straight up Lyra, as, or Lyra, as you can see. Uh, but then, of course, with DJ Pony, it's, of course, a uh, eighth note, uh, two, or two eighth notes, which Really, when her uh, special talent is, of course, DJing, really doesn't necessarily make sense, but it's still, it's classified with music. So thus, it works. Uh, many times, a boy's name is also connected to their cutie mark. Now, this isn't necessarily uh, a precise thing, just because, well, then it would simply mean that every time a pony gets their cutie mark out of their cutie scenario, they have to essentially rename themselves. So typically what is more, more likely is the fact that since every pony has a name beforehand, it probably just happens where their cutie mark perhaps resemble something similar to their name as well. And then of course, uh, the appearance of the cutie mark isn't necessarily the cause of discovering a pony special talent as well. Such as with the fact of when uh, the cutie mark crusaders were searching for their special talents when creating their little magic show. Each one of them showed their little uh, talent in a certain area, which they know they're good with, but be just because they knew they're good with, because they couldn't accept it, that's keeping them from actually uh, are actually appearing as their cutie mark. Granted, since we don't know if that's truly the case or not, we'll just have to see when they eventually get theirs in the uh, get theirs later on. Now then, what is a special talent? A special talent is essentially a skill or a set of skills that a pony is exceptional at. <laughs> Uh, this special talent could be a, a single skill in a certain area that has a very large expanse such as music, art, cooking, sports, or it could be something that a, a variety of skills that might, might have a connection to it, but, because, but uh, because of that, it works. I'll cover that a little bit later on. And then of course also a special talent isn't necessarily determining a pony's career as well. Pony could be extremely talented in one thing, but they could be, have a profession in something completely di different. So, it's that aspect. All right, going with the first representation, Pinkie Pie here. Of course, as we know, her special her special talent is, of course, parties, and everything goes along with it. As I said before, parties is her is her talent, but it also means anything related to a party. So, thus, cooking, making people happy. Uh, Mu music, and then also apparently building all little contraptions or so, which I'm guessing her party cannon, her party, or her little party wagon. Her, her, what her, her helicopter. Her, her. Yeah, all sorts of little stuff that falls within this little wide range of talent. Of course, she discovered her talent essentially by when she discovered when she uh, the Sonic Rain Boom happened. She felt the uh, ability, or she felt the magic of being happy, so she wanted to spread that around. And because her, she threw the party in her uh, family silo, parents found it, got happy too, so that's essentially the spark that triggered her uh, cutie mark. 
Granted, what would happen if uh, if her family didn't like the party, told her to uh, quit all this nonsense and get back to work? Probably she wouldn't have gotten her uh, talent then. Uh, Kitty Mark, she might have even changed, who knows? And of course, her uh, Kitty Mark is represented by, of course, three party balloons. So, nice and plain and simple. Applejack, of course, her, pal her talent is apples. Uh, yes, we'll use the bad reference. Apples and apple accessories. Oh. <clears throat> Alright, uh, essentially, wiring this up. Though, granted, because of this, she actually is also extremely skilled at, of course, other plants as well, such as we've seen in other works. They do grow uh, corn, squash during the off season, as was revealed during the uh, comic, or, uh, comic series. <clears throat> and, of course, what her special talent was, was actually wasn't about discovering apples, it's essentially discovering about how family family values, essentially the family legacy of being an apple is essentially what revealed to her that that's really what she wants to do for the rest of her life. She wants to be an a a apple. Essentially going back to uh, uh, old, old saying and stuff about having actually appeared during a uh, Super Bowl commercial for one of, for I think Toyota or uh, one of the truck companies, no not Toyota, Ford or one of the truck companies, essentially going with what is a farmer. Basically leads off to where the fact of the father farmer and stuff got gets teared up because his son said he wants to be a farmer for just like his father. Essentially, that's the same thing. He re she re she realized that's what she wanted to be. So thus, that's why her uh, cutie mark appears when she returned to the farm to do that. That's when it discovered. And of course, just as that, her uh, cutie mark is three apples, which represents, of course, her no great knowledge. Uh, in apples, but then also the family symbol of the apple family. <clears throat> now we have Fluttershy. Her special talent is, of course, her deep connection to animals, essentially ability to uh, soothe them, care for them, all sorts of stuff. Of course, she discovered that talent whenever uh, the sonic uh, rain boom, of course, disrupted all the animals that were nearby her. And because of her nature, she was actually, because of her talent, she was actually able to calm them down after being completely terrified by this unique little phenomenon. <clears throat> and of course, her uh, key marks, of course, three of the three butterflies, which of course the particular butterflies is, well, the antimatter variety that essentially saved her from her fall. But of course, the, uh, or the uh, butterflies also represent itself her peacefulness and her uh, shyness and gracefulness when it comes to the Stuff. So it also has a much deeper meaning as well to define her, her exact character. And of course, Rarity, her special talent is of course discovering and creating beauty in things. <clears throat> Granted, she uses this by of course running the uh, boutique, creating dresses and whatnot. Really hasn't necessarily seen too much, but it has shown in the episode of the Diamond Dogs. She does know a specific spell to actually find beautiful gemstones in essentially dirty places, right, in, in the rock and dirt and all that stuff. So essentially discovering beauty as well. Now, of course, as we all, all know from the episode, her, uh, she discovered her special talent by essentially her magic leading her to this rock when she was in uh, desire to essentially beautify these costumes that she had, just making them essentially better. So her magic led her, to the, led her to this rock that was filled with gems, but it wasn't until, of course, the sonic rain boom, rock split open, revealing the gems inside. <clears throat> Which she then, of course, used to improve her costumes, and because she managed to achieve her goal of making, thing, making something common even more beautiful, her cutie mark appeared. And, of course, cutie mark is also represented by uh, three crystals, strangely enough, four out of, four out of the six, Three, three parts of their key mark. A little strange in my opinion. But anyway, uh, three, uh, three crystals, of course, representing the beauty that she creates using her uh, various art. Finally, Twilight Sparkle. Well, honestly, her special talent is, of course, magic. She, uh, of course, has quite a range of knowledge and other things, but it's the magic that she seems to be most special about. <clears throat> she, of course, discovered her uh, special talent when a magical spark from uh, the sonic rain boom blast essentially triggered the awakening of her uh, deep magical powers, causing her to have that, uh, uh, cause all that stuff, turning her parents into uh, cactus, uh, turning Spike, or not only awakening Spike, but turning him into a, into a uh, full-fledged dragon, 
uh, all sorts of stuff. And of course, your key mark is a collection of stars that represented that the particular spark that triggered this uh, triggered her cutie mark. Now, another interesting fact about that is, of course, also kind of relates to her destiny that appears through the show. The fact that if you actually look, there's actually five small stars on there, since you're representing her five, but her five five friends. So it has a nice little uh, destiny to her cutie mark as well. It reveals the future to it. Granted, don't see any wings on there, but. Oh well. <laughs> Alright, and finally Rainbow Dash. Now this one's a little bit more of a challenge to it. The fact that commonly of course associates racing to be her special talent, essentially sports, all that stuff. But as we saw within the episode where all the key all the key marks got switched around, Rarity was messing with the weather. Not going around running marathons or doing all sorts or essentially running a triathlon or whatnot. So really kind of iffy there, whether it's the fact that because of her high speed, it allows her to perform better when it comes to running the weather, or not, I'm really not sure, maybe it's just because having the chaos with weather is a lot more detrimental to Ponyville than having a rarity run laps around it, but, oh, well, that's usually just the rider's choice. <clears throat> as far as how her how she discovered her special talent was, of course, she discovered it by creating the sonic rain boom during the race. That essentially sparked her uh, desire to essentially always win, to always perform her best. Thus, she gets that. Of course, her TV marks, of course, a cloud with a multicolored lightning bolt, which represents that she is fast as lightning. Now, finally, now that we're finished with defining what a TV mark or special talent is, I'll talk about exactly how you how uh, you can essentially help find your own. One thing to do is to look at exactly what you're skilled at, but not necessarily what your favorite ability is. This could be, you just have to look deep inside yourself, look at exactly what you are, what you're good at. Might not be something that you necessarily like doing, but it's look at what you seem to be doing to do better than everyone else. <clears throat> uh, essentially, when design, when like you're thinking about what your cutie mark would look like, you can be vague, but not necessarily be too vague where anyone looking at it and stuff can't figure out. Where if you actually have to spend several minutes explaining to someone what your cutie mark means, probably should maybe think about maybe possibly rethink, rethinking what that's going to look like. And then finally, there is no such thing as a useless talent. Just because you might think that what you're good at isn't necessarily good or anything like that. Just simply remember during the uh, Cutie Pops episode, everyone was all happy about the fact that Apple Bloom supposedly got the cutie mark in hula hooping. Now, what exactly uh, the benefits of hula hooping? Not really anything, but still a talent. And she considered it special, and of course, while it did bring a lot of joy to people, so there we go. It is, while it might seem pointless, it brought happiness to uh, other ponies, so thus it is not useless. So, uh, I guess before I uh, move on to the next thing, uh, anyone have any particular questions about uh, maybe any, any questions they have about possibly trying to find, trying to find their own little special talent or so? Yes. What do you think the cutie mark up for someone who like would be good in computer electronics? Would be nice? Well, what a long range. You can either go with the very simple aspect of, well, a computer, circuit board, uh, could even possibly do a series of uh, a series of code or so, like just a couple of like uh, str small little strands of uh, ones and zeros, out of the matrix style aspect. <laughs> uh, really, there's a quite a wide range of things. You can even just do simply simple as uh, like a keyboard and mouse or so. All sorts of ways. Just Think of all that to that aspect. Anyone else? All right, okay. Mm -hmm. So move on to the final one. <clears throat> now, of course, one little final word with that is that remember that just that a cutie mark only defines essentially the tools you take on your journey of life, not necessarily the path is still up to you, essentially meaning just because the key, just because your special talent says what you are the be what you are the best at, doesn't actually define exactly who you are going to be. As a good example of this is essentially 
just because you just because she had a, a cutie mark of piece of uh, electronics doesn't necessarily mean she wasn't able to save the equestrian wasteland. All right, that's it for t that's it for uh, today. Sorry for an extra little short panel and stuff. Uh, I guess you move on to the rest of your stuff. So, all right, enjoy the rest of y'all's day. Mm -hmm.